It is being told that in this iron country, uh, iron iron curtain country of China, there are more churches than in India. Church is growing rapidly. Before the coming of the Lord, the gospel is being preached very rapidly. So the coming of the Lord could happen in our days. Because all the signs are happening very quickly. The Lord also says one more sign. When you read Luke chapter 21 verse 27. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. What is the sign? Verses 25 and 26 say. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth distress of nations, with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. But the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Today, all these signs are happening. Scientists are telling us that there are huge uh, pits that are being formed in the sun. We are hearing from time to time many signs in the heavens. All these indicate to us the coming of the Lord is very much at hand. When we read Acts chapter 2 verse 19, Peter is sharing about one of the end time signs. I will show wonders in heaven above and blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And Peter is talking about the vapor of smoke in the heavens as a sign. And last April we heard the news of a volcano that is erupting in Finland and because of that there are vapors of cloud upon the skies. Perhaps India and United States did not feel the impact of such a cloud. For an entire week all of Europe came to a standstill. More than 100,000 planes were landed. Because of one volcano that erupted in one country, all these things happened. All of these are signs for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. What is the reason God is showing all these things? My coming is very much at hand. The end of this world is at hand. So be prepared to meet with him. If he returns today, are you ready? Are you prepared to meet him? If today, if you hear the sound of acclamation, am I ready to meet with him? How can we be ready? What kind of a preparations do we need to make? I want to share just two verses from the word of God and pray with you. The Lord, is, the Lord wants you to inscribe these verses in your heart. First of all, Luke chapter 21 verse 36. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. For you to escape the end time trials and be ready to meet in the presence of the Lord, be prayerful and watchful always. 
ஆண்டவர் ஒரு முக்கியமான காரியத்தை சொல்லி போய் இருக்கிறார் the lord has shared very important thing with us here எப்பொழுதும் ஜெபம் பண்ணி விழித்திருங்க always watch and pray அவர்கள் தான் வருகையில் ஆண்டவரை சந்திக்க முடியும் only those will be able to meet with god during his return கடைசி கால உபத்திரவத்திற்கு நாம் தப்பித்துக் கொள்ள முடியும் only because of that we can escape in the trials of the last days கடைசி காலத்திலே பஞ்சங்கள் கொள்ள நோய்கள் பூமி எதிர்ச்சிகள் உண்டாகி தான் தீரும் in the last days there will be famines there will be earthquakes and there will be volcanoes and all அந்த ஆபத்துகள் நம்மை சூழ்ந்து வரும்போது நாம் தப்பித்துக் கொள்ள வேண்டுமானால் if we have to escape all these dangers that are going to happen around us நாம் எப்பொழுதும் ஜெபிக்கிறவர்கள் ஆயிருக்க வேண்டும் we must be prayerful always ஜெபிக்கிறவர்களை தான் தேவன் அந்த ஆபத்திலே பாதுகாப்பார் only those who pray will be protected from these trials நாம் രക്ഷிக்கப்பட்டிருந்தால் மட்டும் போதாது it is not enough if we are saved ஆண்டவரோடு நான் அனுபவத்தில் இருக்கிறேன் என்று சொன்னால் மட்டும் போதாது it is not enough for us to just say that we are walking in the experience of the lord நாம் ஜெபிக்கிறவர்களாக இருக்க வேண்டும் we must always be prayerful நாம் தான் ஜெபிக்கிறோமே we pray all the time dinamum namakkaga nam kudumbathirkai jebikkarom daily we pray for ourselves and for our family andavar and kaariyathai kuripidavillai the lord is not talking about that prayer nam desathirkaga jebikka vendum the lord is asking us to pray for the nation aathmaakkalukkaga jebikka vendum we must pray for the souls nee namai sutthilum irukkira makkal indha aandavude mandaikkulle varumbadi nam jebikka vendum we must pray that the people around us will be brought back into the flock of the lord ellarukkaga jebikka vendum endra aandavar kattle itt irukkara the lord has commanded us that we must pray for all all men namudi suyanalai jabathu vittu veliya nam varavendum we have to come out of our selfish prayers in the desathil irukkira lakshakanakana aathmaakale kanmunnalai nirithi jebikka vendum we have to consider the hundreds and thousands of souls in this country in, before our heart and pray for in them in america desathile 30 lakshm indiyargal irukkrargal in america there is there are 3 million indians in the aathmaakalukkaga namudi ullathil irundu baaramulla jabam elumba vendum and for these souls we must have burdenful prayer from our heart neengal irukkira indha bay area le matter sumar 2 lakh indians irukkarargal endru solapadugirar and just in the bay area alone there are 200000 indians that is being said adile ethana per yesu yesu vasikkarargal how many of them believe in the lord jesus nam ethana per inge vandu kathare aaradhikkarom how many of us are coming here to worship the lord innum aayirakkanakana makkal mandaiku veliyil irukkarargal yet there are thousands of people outside of the flock of the lord in the desathile vandu meyyan aandavare ariyamal irukkarargal even though they have come into this country they have not known the true god avargalukkaga nam jebikka vendum do we need to pray for them appadi jebikara makkal dan aabathukku thappithu kollapaduvargal only those people who pray like that will be protected from all the trials ezekiel 9 am adhigara 4 2 6 vasanangalai vaasithu paarunga when we read ezekiel chapter 9 verses 4 to 6 ange kadaisi kaalathe nyaya thirpai kurithu oru velipaatte avar eludugirar here we are reading about the end time judgment sangarikkum thoodargal aayudhangalodu elumbi varugirargal The angels who are ready to destroy are coming out with their weapons. அப்பொழுது ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட தூதனை ஆண்டவர் அனுப்புகிறார். At that time the Lord sends the particular angel. நான்காவது வசனம் சொல்கிறது. Verse 4 says, நீ எருசலேம் நகரம் எங்கும் உருவே போய் go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem. அந்த பட்டணத்திலே செய்யப்படுகிற அறுவறுப்புகளின் நிமித்தம் பெருமூச்சு விட்டு அழுகிறவுடைய நெற்றியிலே அடையாளம் போடு. And put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry. over all the abominations that are done within it aradu vasanam solugirathu more six says and the nyaya thirupu sangaram varum bodu when the judgment comes and adayalam potravargalai maatram thodadirungal endra andu solugirathu protect only those leave only those who have received the mark that was on their forehead yaare andavar paadugakkara who does the lord protect desathile seiyapadugira aruvarupagalai paathu perumuchu vittu aludhu jebikkaravargal people who sigh and cry and pray for the abominations that are happening in the land indha desathe nokke paarungal look at this nation ningal irukkira california maanilathe nokke paarungal consider the state of california that you are living in ulagathile kaanapadugira bhayangaramaana பாவங்களின் ஆரம்ப இடம் கலிபோர்னியாவாக இருக்கிறது the source of all the terrible abominations happening around the world is california இன்னைக்கு நாங்கள் பேசிக்கொண்டிருக்கும் ஒரு பாஸ்டர் அதை தான் குறிப்பிட்டார்கள் today as i was talking pastor was saying the same thing as well எழுப்பதலும் இந்த மாநிலத்தில் இருந்து வந்திருக்கிறது revival also is coming out of the state எல்லா பாவங்களும் இந்த மாநிலத்தில் இருந்து தான் வருகிறது all the sins are also coming out of the state நீங்கள் இருக்கிற இந்த மாநிலம் நீங்கள் இருக்கிற இந்த பட்டணத்தை நோக்கி பாருங்க you have to consider this particular city this particular state that you are living in இந்த உலகத்தை கரைப்படுத்திக் கொண்டிருக்கிற கூடிய pornography ஆரம்பிகமான இடம் இந்த கலிபோர்னியா மாநிலம் 